There are hundreds of extensions currently available on the Visual Studio Code marketplace, but if you're new to VS Code, you might be wondering, which should I get first? The answer ultimately comes down to your needs and preferences, but there are some you should install first from the get-go for a much better coding experience. Hi, I'm Victor. Let's explore five of the five best VS Code extensions you should install first today on height above sea level. If you're new to VS Code and don't fully know your way around it, I have a video breaking it down into its simplest form so beginners like you can get started with code. I've linked it to the top right of your screen. At number 5, and in no particular order, is a new theme. This can be any theme you like. Themes come in different variations in the marketplace, ranging from dark themes, light themes, or high contrast themes. A different theme or themes can freshen things up tremendously, especially if you plan on spending many hours staring at your code editor like most developers do. Switching themes can also help reduce eye strain if, for instance, you go from using a light theme to a dark one, something you'll notice the most at night or late in the evening when there is less ambient light. Darker themes can also save power if you're using VS Code from a laptop or any other battery-powered device. On the other hand, high contrast themes improve your code's readability, especially if you have poor eyesight given each word will pop out more from the background as you type or read it. It's all up to you. Speaking of themes, at number 4 we have Material Icon Theme. The default icons of each file or folder that come with VS Code are often quite bland and uninspiring. If you don't like them and prefer something more beautiful and eye-catching, then Material Icon Theme does the job. It replaces the default icon of each file and folder with a stylized one befitting the type of file or folder. For example, if you have a folder named Home, a home icon is displayed next to the folder. Additionally, it often uses a programming language's official logo as the icon whenever possible which makes it easier to distinguish it from the other types of files you may have. Speaking of programming languages, it has rich support for tens of them including obscure ones most people hardly ever use. Material Icon Theme not only provides you with beautiful icons but also helps in your project's organization by supplying the correct one according to how you name your files and folders. Just a quick heads up, if you're enjoying the video and would like to see exclusive content on VS Code such as tips and tricks, c -sharp videos or explanations of programming concepts like object-oriented programming, please consider becoming a patron over on patreon.com forward slash height above sea level. It helps support the channel and all patrons receive a custom Sakura theme for the Visual Studio IDE with a VS Code version down the pipeline. Thank you so much in advance to all of you who do become patrons. Next up in number 3 is better comments. Comments provide more context on what the code does or why it's written a certain way, but sometimes, if you have some important information inside a lot of comments, it can get lost in the sauce, so to speak. Enter better comments. Better comments improves your comments by color coding them based on what information the comment contains. For example, if you have a to do item in your comment, you can start the comment with to do and this will give it an orange color. You can also add an asterisk at the start of the comments line to signify it's important, a question mark for queries, or an exclamation mark to bring attention to the comment line. This is just a couple of features better comments has to offer. If you want, you can even add more comment styles for different situations unique to you. Better comments supports multiple programming languages, so there's a good chance the language you use Using as included. Coming in at number 2 is Prettier. Not sure if you should use single or double quotes in JavaScript? Prettier has you covered. It's a code formatter that automatically formats your code based on the rules you specify. For example, you could specify that in JavaScript files, all strings should use double quotes. You can change other settings such as allowing a space between curly braces, adding trailing commas to your properties, or surrounding single parameters in an arrow function with parentheses. Prettier is especially handy if you're working on a project with multiple people and want to enforce certain formatting rules on how the code is written. You can even turn on the option to format on save. Granted, VS Code has some built-in formatting options, but if you want to go a step further, Prettier is a solid option. The only downside to Prettier, as of this video, is it only supports JavaScript, TypeScript, JSON, GraphQL, and Handlebars, so if you code in those languages, you're in luck. Finally, at number 1, we have CodeSnap. CodeSnap takes screenshots of your code cropped down to only the necessary details you want to capture. All you have to do is use the CodeSnap command from the command palette, select the code you want to screenshot, and click the shutter. Simple. You can also adjust certain settings such as the background color, padding, or box shadow to name a few. It's a great tool for students, teachers, or anyone else who needs to quickly share their code without having to manually copy it and then paste it elsewhere. That's a lot for you guys. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more of the same. 
And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you want exclusive videos on VS Code, C Sharp or other programming concepts, please consider supporting the channel on patreon.com forward slash height above sea level. There's also a Discord server you can join to become a part of the Water Tribe, I invite in the description below. And I do plan to get back to streaming on Twitch, so be sure to follow me there for a more interactive experience. Thank you so much for watching and as always, from me to you, deuces. Thank you.